Recently, it was announced that new members might soon join the BRICS coalition, though their identities have not yet been disclosed. Our investigative efforts have identified several potential candidates. Considering the significant number of countries that could join, we have analyzed their demographic and economic strengths to estimate the potential impact on BRICS's power. If you believe any country has been overlooked, please let us know and include your source so we can update our information accordingly. In this video, we will explore each potential new member, examining their population sizes, economic strengths, and principal exports. Please note that the order in which these countries are presented is random and does not imply any ranking or preference. Let's start. Zimbabwe. As of 2024, Zimbabwe has an estimated population of approximately 17 million, making it the 74th most populous country globally. It covers an area of 390,757 square kilometers, ranking it as the 60th largest country by land size. Economically, Zimbabwe's nominal GDP is around $32.424 billion USD, with its GDP in terms of purchasing power parity, PPP, being about $37 billion USD. This places Zimbabwe's economy among the lower middle tier globally in terms of size. Zimbabwe's economy is heavily reliant on its rich natural resources and agriculture. Key exports include gold, platinum, and chrome, which are critical to its mining sector. Tobacco and cotton are also significant, reflecting the country's strong agricultural base. Despite this resource wealth, the growth in exports has not kept pace with the growth in imports, which could point to broader economic challenges, including production capacity and global market conditions. Output, Vietnam. As of 2024, Vietnam's population is estimated to be approximately 99.4 million, making it one of the most populous countries in the world. The country covers an area of 331,212 square kilometers, ranking it as the 65th largest country globally. Vietnam's economy is robust with a nominal GDP of about $409 billion USD, positioning it significantly in the global economic rankings. Its GDP in terms of purchasing power parity, PPP, is estimated at about $1.141 trillion USD, reflecting its economic strength beyond just nominal figures. Vietnam Vietnam's economy is dynamic and heavily reliant on exports, which are a major driver of its economic growth. The nation's key export products include textiles, electronics, and footwear, alongside agricultural goods such as rice, coffee, and seafood. Additionally, Vietnam has become a significant exporter of furniture, machinery, and automotive parts, diversifying its economic base and enhancing its global trade footprint. Vietnam, the country's strategic efforts in developing its manufacturing sector and enhancing export capabilities have made it a crucial player in the international market, contributing significantly to its GDP and employment rates. Uruguay, a small but mighty powerhouse nestled in South America, has an estimated population of about 3.4 million people. Despite its size, Uruguay ranks as the 89th largest country in the world by land area, covering approximately 176,000 square kilometers. Economically, Uruguay holds a strong position on the global stage. Its nominal GDP stands at about $76.244 billion USD, making it the 84th largest economy globally. When we look at the GDP from the perspective of purchasing power parity, PPP, it comes in at about $103.372 billion USD, landing Uruguay in the 96th position worldwide. Uruguay's economy is heavily reliant on its export industries with beef and wool leading the charge. The nation's export industry received a significant boost after Uruguay joined the Mercosur Trade Agreement in 1991. This move has expanded Uruguay's trading capabilities, allowing it to reach markets as far away as Japan. As a result, Uruguay's beef exports have seen significant growth, contributing to the nation's robust economy. As we can see, Uruguay, though small in size, is a formidable player in the global economic arena. In the heart of Africa lies Nigeria, a nation of approximately 229.15 million people, making it the seventh most populous country globally. With a land area of about 923,768 square kilometers, it ranks as the 32nd largest country in the world. Economically, Nigeria is a powerhouse. Its nominal GDP is estimated at around $514 billion USD, positioning it as the largest economy in Africa. 
But when we take a look at the GDP from the perspective of purchasing power parity, PPP, it rises to approximately $1.237 trillion USD. Nigeria's economy leans heavily on its abundant natural resources, with oil and gas sectors being major contributors to the national income. Apart from petroleum, Nigeria also exports substantial amounts of agricultural products like cocoa and rubber, playing critical roles in sustaining its economic growth and strengthening its position in global trade. In a strategic move towards economic diversification, Nigeria is working on expanding its manufacturing and services sectors to reduce its dependence on oil exports. With its vast resources and strategic economic planning, Nigeria stands as a strong contender for the BRICS alliance. In the heartland of Central America, Nicaragua is a nation with a population of roughly 7.1 million people, ranking it 105th in the global population chart covering a land area of about 130,370 square kilometers. It's the 99th largest country in the world by land area. Economically, Nicaragua is still developing, with its nominal GDP standing at about $14 billion USD, and a GDP from the perspective of purchasing power parity, PPP, estimated at $51 billion USD. This positions Nicaragua 122nd in the world in terms of GDP PPP. The economy of Nicaragua heavily leans on its agriculture sector, which significantly contributes to its GDP. Major exports include textiles and apparel, accounting for nearly 60% of its export revenue. Nicaragua has also diversified its exports to include gold, seafood, and several new agricultural products like peanuts, sesame, melons, and onions, which are rapidly growing as export commodities. This diversification is a crucial step towards economic stability and growth leveraging Nicaragua's rich agricultural landscape and favorable climatic conditions for varied agricultural production. While it may not be as economically robust as other potential BRICS members, Nicaragua's steady growth and strategic economic diversification present a compelling case for its consideration. Please don't forget to like this video if you find it useful so far. Your support means a lot to us and keeps us motivated. Thanks for your ongoing encouragement. As we delve into the realm of potential new BRICS members, we mustn't overlook Angola. This nation, home to approximately 37.6 million people, is experiencing one of the fastest population growth rates worldwide. With an annual increase that's hard to ignore, Angola's influence extends over an impressive 1.25 million square kilometers, making it the seventh largest nation in Africa. Angola's economy is a powerhouse, fueled predominantly by its oil sector. This sector not only dominates the country's exports, but also forms a significant part of its governmental revenue. However, Angola's economic prowess doesn't stop there. Other mineral resources, such as chromite, coal, asbestos, copper, nickel, gold, platinum, and iron ore, play supporting roles, though oil remains the star of the show. As of 2023, Angola's nominal GDP stands at approximately $106.78 billion, with a purchasing power parity, PPP GDP estimated at about $260.32 billion. The country's urbanization rate is also noteworthy, with over two-thirds of the population living in urban areas. Luanda, the capital, is the largest urban center, showcasing a significant urban population density compared to other regions. Angola's youthful demographic profile is another fascinating aspect, characterized by a median age of just over 16 years, one of the lowest globally. This contributes to its high fertility rate of approximately 5.1 births per woman. As we look to the future, these factors combined may well position Angola as a key player on the global stage. Our journey through potential new BRICS members now takes us to the heart of Africa, to the Republic of the Congo. With a population of approximately 6.2 million people, Congo is the 113th most populous country in the world. Covering an impressive area of 342,000 square kilometers, this nation stands as the 64th largest globally. In terms of economy, Congo's nominal GDP is estimated at $67.512 billion USD, with its purchasing power parity GDP reaching a substantial $150.88 billion USD. The driving force behind this robust economy is the petroleum sector which significantly contributes to the nation's exports and governmental revenues. But Congo's economy is not a one-trick pony. The nation boasts a diverse range of industries, 
from cement and lumber to brewing and sugar. There's also a flourishing soap, flour, and cigarette production industry, adding to the country's economic diversity. The Republic of Congo, with its rich resources and diverse economy, is a compelling contender in the race to become a new BRICS member. As we continue to explore the potential of these emerging economies, it's clear that the face of global power is changing. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this fascinating topic. Next, we head over to North America, to the vibrant and diverse nation of Mexico. As the 10th most populous country in the world, with a population of approximately 129.2 million, Mexico is a buzzing hive of economic activity. Spanning a vast area of about 1,972,550 square kilometers, it ranks as the 13th largest country in terms of land mass. When we talk about economies, Mexico is no small player. Its nominal GDP stands at an impressive $1.811 trillion, making it the 12th largest economy in the world. Similarly, its GDP by purchasing power parity, PPP, is around $3.277 trillion, also placing it 12th globally. But what powers this economic titan? Mexico's economic strength lies in its diverse industries, with automotive, electronics, and manufactured goods sectors playing a crucial role. The automotive industry, in particular, is a significant contributor to its export economy, reinforcing Mexico's status as a major player in global trade. Mexico, with its robust economy and industrial diversity, certainly makes a strong case for potential inclusion in the BRICS nations. As we delve further into these emerging economies, it's clear that the world's economic landscape is shifting, with new players rising to prominence. Stay with us as we continue our journey across the globe, exploring these fascinating economic shifts. Next, we journey to the heart of Africa, to the nation of Gabon. Despite its relatively small population of approximately 2.48 million people and a land area of about 257,670 square kilometers, Gabon has carved a niche for itself with its oil-driven economy. With a production rate of about 200,000 barrels of oil per day, it's no wonder that the oil sector plays such a significant role in Gabon's economy. This influence is clearly reflected in its nominal GDP of approximately $19.319 billion USD, placing it 129th in the world by GDP. When we consider purchasing power parity, Gabon's GDP stands at about $41.922 billion USD, ranking it 134th globally. But Gabon isn't resting on its laurels. The government is actively working to reduce its dependency on oil by diversifying into other sectors. The country has rich reserves of iron ore, manganese, and uranium, with potential development of iron ore reserves at the Balinga site being a key focus. Gabon, with its strategic economic focus and potential for growth, adds another interesting dimension to our exploration of potential new BRICS members. As the world's economic landscape continues to evolve, it becomes increasingly clear that no nation, regardless of its size, can be overlooked. Join us in our next scene as we delve deeper into this fascinating topic. Next, we set our sights on East Africa and the landlocked nation of Uganda. Despite being landlocked, Uganda's population of approximately 49.92 million people and its vast area of about 241,038 square kilometers make it a considerable contender. Ranked as the 30th most populous country globally, it has a population density of about 183 individuals per square kilometer. Although a significant portion of the population lives in rural areas, cities like Kampala and Gulu are witnessing rapid urban growth. Economically, Uganda stands out with a nominal GDP of about $52.39 billion USD and a GDP in terms of purchasing power parity, PPP, at approximately $145.157 billion USD. But what sets Uganda apart is its thriving agricultural sector. Uganda is known globally for its high-quality Arabica coffee beans, which are a key export and highly sought after in the international market. Other significant exports include tea, cotton, tobacco, and fish and fish products. Additionally, Uganda is rich in minerals like gold and copper, adding another dimension to its economic landscape. This agricultural powerhouse, with its diverse economic sectors and strategic focus on growth, offers another intriguing perspective in our exploration of potential new BRICS members. Stay tuned as we continue our journey evaluating the prospects of nations in this ever-evolving global economic landscape. Shifting our gaze towards the Middle East, 
we find Syria, a nation that has faced its share of challenges. Syria, with an estimated population of approximately 24.35 million, stands as the 57th most populous country in the world. Covering an area of 185,180 square kilometers, it ranks as the 87th largest country by land area. Economically, Syria presents a nominal GDP of around $1.19, 719 million USD, and its GDP in terms of purchasing power parity, PPP, stands at about $1.50, 280 million USD. Despite the ongoing civil conflicts and international sanctions, Syria's main exports, which include crude oil and petroleum products, remain significant. The country is also known for exporting phosphates, textiles, and agricultural goods like olives and citrus fruits, diversifying its economic output. While the challenges faced by Syria are not insignificant, the evolving oil sector suggests potential growth in exports, which could increasingly influence the national economy in the future. As we delve deeper into the prospects of potential new BRICS members, Syria provides a unique perspective of resilience and potential in the face of adversity. Stay tuned as we continue to explore these fascinating dynamics. Switching our focus to the crossroads of Europe and Asia, we land in Turkey, a nation that is as diverse as it is strategic. With an estimated population of around 86.26 million, it ranks as the 18th most populous country globally. Covering an area of 783,562 square kilometers, it stands tall as the 36th largest country by land area. Economically, Turkey showcases a nominal GDP of approximately $1.154 trillion USD, which positions it as the 17th largest economy in the world. Its GDP, in terms of purchasing power parity, PPP, is around $3.806 trillion USD making it the 11th largest on a global scale. Turkey's export economy is both robust and diverse. Machinery and vehicles are significant contributors to its industrial output, while the textile and apparel sectors also play a pivotal role. The steel and metal sectors add to this mix, providing a well-rounded industrial output. On the agricultural front, products such as fruits, vegetables, and grains are key exports thanks to Turkey's varied climate and fertile soils. Turkey's strategic geographical position as a bridge between Europe and Asia enhances its role as a critical hub for transit trade. This unique position boosts its economic profile, making it a significant player on the world stage. As we continue to explore potential new BRICS members, Turkey presents a compelling case of strategic importance and economic potential. Stay tuned as we delve further into these captivating dynamics. Moving on from Turkey, we now set foot in Pakistan the world's fifth most populous country. With an estimated population of around 245.2 million, Pakistan also ranks 33rd in size, covering an area of 881,913 square kilometers. Economically, Pakistan holds a nominal GDP of about $340.636 billion USD, which places it at the 46th position globally. When it comes to GDP in terms of purchasing power parity, PPP, Pakistan's economy stands at approximately $1.644 trillion USD, making it the 24th largest globally. Pakistan's export economy is diverse and robust with a significant focus on textiles and garments, a nod to its historical industry strengths. The country is also a major exporter of rice, leather goods, and high-quality surgical instruments. Notably, Pakistan takes pride in its sports goods, including hand-stitched soccer balls from the city of Sialkot. On the agricultural front, Pakistan's export basket includes premium fruits like mangoes and citrus, vegetables and seafood, all of which play a significant role in its economic output. As we continue on our journey exploring potential new BRICS members, Pakistan presents an intriguing case with its diverse economy and rich cultural heritage. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of global economies. Moving from Pakistan, we journey to its neighboring country, Afghanistan. With an estimated population of around 43.18 million people, Afghanistan ranks as the 36th most populous country globally, covering an area of approximately 652,230 square kilometers it ranks as the 40th largest country in the world. Economically, Afghanistan's nominal GDP stands at about $14.939 billion USD, while its GDP in terms of purchasing power parity, PPP, is approximately $80.912 billion USD, 
placing it 103rd globally in terms of economic size. The backbone of Afghanistan's economy is agriculture, with significant exports of opium along with fruits like grapes and pomegranates and nuts such as almonds and pistachios. Furthermore, Afghanistan takes pride in its handcrafted carpets, known worldwide for their quality and intricate designs. Despite the numerous challenges the country faces, these products remain crucial to Afghanistan's trade and economy, providing essential income. As we explore potential new BRICS members, Afghanistan presents a unique case with its agriculture-dependent economy and rich cultural heritage. Stay tuned as we continue to traverse the globe and its diverse economies. Tunisia has a population of approximately 12.55 million, ranking it as the 80th most populous country globally. The country covers an area of 163,610 square kilometers, making it the 91st largest country by land area. Tunisia's nominal GDP is around $51.271 billion, positioning it 92nd in the world, while its GDP in terms of purchasing power parity, PPP, is estimated at $162.097 billion, ranking it 83rd globally. Indonesia has a population of approximately 279.8 million people, making it the fourth most populous country in the world. It covers an area of 1,904,569 square kilometers, which ranks it as the 15th largest country globally. The nation's economy is substantial, with a nominal GDP of about $1.417 trillion USD, placing it prominently in the global economic rankings. Its GDP in terms of purchasing power parity, PPP, is approximately $4.715 trillion USD. Thailand has an estimated population of approximately 71.88 million, making it the 20th most populous country in the world. The country spans 513,120 square kilometers, ranking it as the 50th largest globally. Economically, Thailand has a nominal GDP of around $512 billion USD, placing it within the top global economies. Its GDP in terms of purchasing power parity, PPP, stands at approximately $1.66 trillion USD, ranking it 23rd worldwide. Our next stop brings us to Bangladesh, a country with a population of approximately 174.7 million. This positions it as the eighth most populous country globally, covering an area of 147,570 square kilometers. Bangladesh ranks as the 92nd largest country in the world. Economically, Bangladesh has a nominal GDP of around $446 billion USD. In terms of purchasing power parity, PPP, the GDP is estimated at about $1.62 trillion USD, showing a strong, steady economy. Bangladesh's economy is significantly bolstered by its textile and garment industry, which constitutes a major portion of its exports. It's also a notable exporter of jute products and leather goods, and has been emerging as a hub for pharmaceutical exports. These sectors are crucial for driving Bangladesh's economic growth and providing substantial employment, highlighting the country's critical role in global trade. Let's now head to Central Asia and focus on Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan has a population of approximately 19.83 million people, ranking it as the 64th most populous country globally with an expansive area of 2,724,900 square kilometers, it stands as the ninth largest country in the world. Economically, Kazakhstan has a nominal GDP of about $259 billion USD. In terms of purchasing power parity, PPP, the GDP is considerably higher, estimated at around $654 billion USD, placing Kazakhstan 41st globally in economic size. Kazakhstan's economy is predominantly driven by its abundant natural resources, particularly oil and natural gas, which are major contributors to its exports and economic strength. Besides these, the country is also a significant exporter of metals like copper and iron ore. Agricultural products such as wheat and barley, along with chemicals and machinery, also form a significant part of Kazakhstan's export portfolio. This diverse economy underlines Kazakhstan's important role in the global marketplace. Moving westward from Kazakhstan, we find ourselves in Belarus. With a population of approximately 9.46 million people, Belarus ranks as the 97th most populous country globally. Spread across an area of 207,600 square kilometers, it stands as the 84th largest country in the world. 
Turning our attention to the economy, Belarus's nominal GDP is estimated at around $68.86 billion USD. However, when considering the purchasing power parity, PPP, the GDP significantly increases to about $221.19 billion USD, placing Belarus 71st globally in terms of economic size. The Belarusian economy is heavily oriented towards manufacturing and exports, with petroleum products, machinery, and equipment being key contributors to the nation's export revenue. Belarus is also a significant exporter of potash fertilizers and agricultural products like dairy products and meat, which not only shape the economic structure of the country, but also play a critical role in its trade balance and food security efforts. This well-rounded economy ensures Belarus's significant position in the global economic landscape. Moving across the Atlantic, our next stop is the vibrant island nation of Cuba. Home to approximately 11.18 million people, Cuba may be a relatively small country in terms of population, but it boasts a rich and diverse culture that's larger than life. Spread over an area of 109,884 square kilometers, Cuba ranks as the 104th largest country worldwide. Turning our attention to the economic landscape, Cuba has a nominal GDP of around $633.442 billion USD. However, when we consider the purchasing power parity, PPP, the GDP stands at about $137 billion USD, positioning Cuba as the 89th largest economy globally. Unlike many other economies, Cuba relies heavily on a handful of key export commodities. Tobacco products, especially the globally acclaimed Cuban cigars, play a significant role in the nation's export revenues. Furthermore, Cuba is a major exporter of pharmaceuticals, nickel, sugar, and the world-famous Cuban rum. Despite facing several economic restrictions, these exports are vital in generating revenue and sustaining the Cuban economy. Cuba's population is primarily urban, with major cities like Havana and Santiago de Cuba housing a significant portion of the population. Even though there's been a slight dip in population growth, Cuba continues to maintain its rich cultural heritage and diverse demographic makeup, shaped by various waves of immigration over the centuries. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of Cuba's population and economy, we witness a resilient nation that has managed to carve out its unique identity in the world, despite the challenges it has faced. As we journey south from Cuba, we arrive in the heart of Central America, Honduras. With its population of approximately 10.76 million people, Honduras is the 87th most populous country globally, spread across an area of about 112,492 square kilometers. This nation holds the 102nd position in terms of land mass. When we shift our focus to the economy, we find a nominal GDP of about $33.992 billion USD. However, accounting for the purchasing power parity, PPP, the GDP stands at roughly $75.030 billion USD. Honduras's economy is largely export-driven, with key commodities such as coffee, bananas, palm oil, shrimp, textiles, and electrical components leading the way. These exports not only fuel the Honduran economy, but also provide essential employment opportunities for its people. The agricultural sector, particularly the production of coffee and bananas, contributes significantly to Honduras's global trade presence, reflecting the country's rich agricultural heritage. Despite being a relatively small country, Honduras's economic contributions and cultural richness position it as an important player in the Central American region. The country's demographic makeup, coupled with its vibrant economy, paints a picture of a nation that thrives on its natural resources and industrious people. As we continue to explore the world's populations and economies, Honduras offers a unique perspective on how a country can leverage its natural resources to drive economic growth and prosperity. After our Central American visit, we now head further south to the tropical country of Venezuela. With a population of approximately 29.4 million people, Venezuela stands as the 49th most populous country in the world, covering a vast area of about 912,050 square kilometers. It ranks as the 33rd largest country globally by land area. Turning our attention to Venezuela's economy, we find a nominal GDP of roughly $92.21 billion USD. However, when we consider the purchasing power parity, PPP, the GDP value escalates to an estimated $211.926 billion USD. Venezuela's economy heavily leans on its abundant natural resources, especially crude oil, which serves as its primary export. 
Apart from oil, the country also exports other minerals like iron ore and aluminum, and agricultural products such as coffee and cocoa. These resources significantly contribute to Venezuela's economic standing and its position in the global trade arena. The country's population density is comparatively low, with around 33 people per square kilometer, indicating its expansive land area relative to its population size. Interestingly, a significant portion of the population falls within the 15 to 64 years age bracket, indicating a potentially productive workforce. As we delve into Venezuela's demographics and economy, we gain insights into how a nation can harness its natural resources to fuel its economy and shape its societal structure. As we continue our journey across Latin America, we now find ourselves in the heart of South America, Bolivia. Home to approximately 12.57 million people, Bolivia ranks as the 82nd most populous country globally. With its vast area of about 1,098,581 square kilometers, it is the 27th largest country by land area. When we look at Bolivia's economy, we see a nominal GDP of around $46.796 billion USD. However, when adjusted for purchasing power parity, PPP, the GDP figure increases to approximately $125.428 billion USD placing Bolivia 93rd in the global ranking. The driving forces behind Bolivia's economy are its exports, primarily natural gas and minerals such as silver, zinc, and tin. Also playing a significant role are agricultural products like soybeans and quinoa, which are not just staple foods for the Bolivians, but also valuable export commodities, contributing to the country's economic growth and trade balance. Bolivia's population density is quite low, with about 11 individuals per square kilometer, reflecting its large land area relative to its population. The majority of the population falls within the productive age group of 15, 64 years, offering a strong workforce potential. As we explore Bolivia's demographics and economy, we get a glimpse of how this landlocked nation leverages its natural resources and agriculture to sustain its economy and cater to its population's needs. 